Molena Makaya, Le, Yimpuma Kappa TV. Yawan Dim Umpekashi Wako Tandegayo, Wedding Kubo Iti, Quarren TV. It showed me a good lesson in lockdown. Nam Sanjas in the Patel Umu Tumazang or a program. Sugela was in Mizal, Yoko was in Gubek, Kakangela Pagam Domcha, Bugela man, or Nabi. In case you're wondering and thinking, ah, this must be the Don't Rush Challenge, you are wrong. Up next, we have Manil and Jadai with some visual arts. Don't rush, don't rush, don't rush. Hi guys, it's Manil and Jadai again. This is our second episode of Learn to Draw. So today we're going to learn a bit of how to hold your pencil, how to draw holding your pencil in different ways and the, the, the one way that I wouldn't suggest a person must do is to hold the pencil like as if you're writing like hold the pencil like this because you, the one tends to put so much pressure on the on the drawing on the sketch and sometimes you don't even see what you draw because your hand is in the way so <clears throat> the one way you can hold the pencil the, 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 couple of ways. One way, the easier way you can hold the pencil is to hold it like in the middle of, in the middle and then you can actually draw nicely without making, uh, without putting a lot of pressure. Like if you draw a circle, like now I'm moving my hand, my fingers. And then you can even move your, your wrist like so can move your wrist clockwise and anti-clockwise but if you're holding your pencil like far from the tip you can make a nice straight line you can move your wrist you can move your hand your your your, your fingers and if, even if you want to make a line a straight line it's easy if you want to make a curve it's easy want to make a curve it's, it's nice and easy it allows you this way allows you to move your hand freely. Like if I want to draw a person, a, a, a portrait, a quicker, like I'm holding my pencil there and I'm talking to you and I'm busy drawing this, this young boy. Yeah, and he's smiling. Everything comes and I don't have to put pressure I'm not worried about the lines that they nice and, and straight. I'm just moving my hands. That's his neck. Smiling is happy. His eyes. Nice eyes are glittering. See, I've not even moved my hand. I've not even picked up the pencil. It's, it's moving there. It's just doing his own thing. I'm doing my own thing. But we connect. You have to connect with your pencil. You have to make friends with your pencil in order for you to make a nice drawing or artwork. You have to make friends with your pencil. And when you are done, you can go back <clears throat> and pick lines. So, that's what I'm talking about when you hold the pencil. Now we're gonna go to um, the shading. I'm gonna draw a, a, a simple object. I'm gonna make two and show you different ways of shading. And another thing <clears throat> that you must avoid when you draw is it, you make a straight line. Like, you must always try to make a straight line. One straight line, uh, one straight line, and don't, and, and avoid this. Some, some people, they draw like this. When you hold a pencil there, you want to make sure that you get the line straight. You must, like, make sure that you make one straight line. So these are, these are our objects. Like in our previous uh, episode, we learned about shading and, 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 and lighting. 
So today we're gonna learn about shading an object. So there are two ways. There's a tip, you can shade with the tip of your pencil. You can hold your pencil like this and shade with the side of your pencil. What I like about this way is you don't get lines. Get a nice shading. This one you get lines. You have those lines that are coming there. And this one you, you, you don't have lines because it's the side of the pencil. So we're gonna take this, this one, the tip, and apply it here on the first one. So I'm gonna do a cross hedging. So my light comes from this side. And if your light comes from this side, the inside of this cylinder, you have to shade on this side and leave that side. You can see I'm moving my fingers on this one. My hand is resting on the paper and I'm just moving my fingers and this side I'm moving my, uh, my wrist, moving my fingers and I go back and make a nice solid line. So this side what we're doing on this side is shading with the tip of the pencil. So on this side, you wanna shade with the side of the pencil. Um, when I hold the pencil like this, either like this or like this, between the two fingers there, and Ask your parents to maybe give you a, a tin if you don't know how to draw this object from memory. You copy that tin, doesn't have to be exactly the same. Like I said in, the, in our previous episode. It is not going to be perfect this, the first time around. Just need to practice and practice and practice until we get it right. And then you will surprise yourself one day. So now I'm marking, I'm, I'm, I'm going over the lines. So that is it for today friends, I hope to see you next time and I hope to see all of your drawings in our Facebook page. You must just share, keep drawing, keep drawing and share on our Facebook page and not to phone there in the Matthew development. Thank you, bye bye. Next up, we have Casey with some fitness. Remember if you've got a yoga mat, please use one. If not, 
please use a towel. Okay, so first exercise, you'll just bend over, stretching everything nicely. And slow movements. Then walking it out and lift. And let's walk back. Coming up, one vertebra at a time. That's a warm up. So guys remember, no shoes because it's yoga time. Okay, so we'll be starting with our first pose which we'll be holding for 15 seconds. Okay, and it's called the child's pose. Okay. And arms in front of you and you'll just relax. Bum down. Second pose, we're now moving into the butterfly. So we'll open it up and you'll go. Okay, our next pose, we'll be doing the chair pose. So you'll have an imaginary chair. Legs together, feet together, arms up, and you'll drop. So this is basically your positioning. Now, you'll move the chair, and drop, and hold. So those are the three poses. Now for pull down. Now we are heading to our pull down. Okay, so we'll just go into what we call the cobra and we'll stretch, extending the neck and down, down to child's pose, back to the cobra. Thanks guys! So next up, we have Fix Maola from Masinusade with some exciting activities to keep you entertained during this lockdown period. Take it on Fix! Take it on! Hello my friends, hello it's me again, Tafix. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm glad you can hear about the Ulele. So today we're gonna read a story, and it's actually my favorite book. It's called The Cat in the Hat by Dr. Seuss. As you can see there's the cat, and look what he's wearing. He's wearing a hat. Let's get to the story. Ooh, I can't wait. Mmm, the cat in the hat by Dr. Seuss. The sun did not shine. It was too wet to play. So we sat in the house all that cold, cold, wet day. Can you see the two kids? They're sitting inside the house and it's raining and raining. I sat there with Sally. We sat there, we two. And I said, how I wish we had something to do. Too wet to go out and too cold to play ball. So we sat in the house. We did nothing at all. So all we could do was to sit, 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 sit. And we did not like it. Not one little bit. Look at those two. Look at them. They're sitting and they're so incredibly bored. Look at them. Do they look happy? 
Do they look happy? I don't think so. Even the fish is sleeping. Boom. <gasps> and then something went bump. How that bump made us jump. Have a look. See, even the fish got scared. We looked, then we saw him step in on the mat. We looked and we saw him, the cat in the hat. And he said to us, why do you sit there like that? I know it is wet and the sun is not sunny, but we can have lots of good fun that is funny. Ooh, it's getting exciting. I know some good games you could play, said the cat. I know some new tricks, said the cat in the hat. A lot of good tricks, I will show them to you. Your mother will not mind at all if I do. Then Sally and I did not know what to say. Our mother was out of the house for the day. But our fish said, no, no, make that cat go away. Tell that cat in the hat you do not want to play. He should not be here, he should not be about. He should not be here when your mother is out. Look at the fish. The fish is the voice of reason. Look at this fish. Now, now, have no fear, have no fear, said the cat. My tricks are not bad, said the cat in the hat. Why, we can have lots of good fun, if you wish, with a game that I call up, 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 with the fish. Put me down, said the fish. This is no fun at all. Put me down, said the fish. I do not wish to fall. Look, he's he put the fish all the way up with his umbrella. I have no fear, said the cat. I will not let you fall. I will hold you up high as I stand on a ball, with a book on one hand and a cup on my hat. But that is not all I can do, said the cat. <clears throat> look at me, look at me now, said the cat. With a cup and a cake on the top of my hat, I can hold up two books. I can hold a fish and a little toy ship and some milk on a dish and look, I can hop up and down on the ball, but that is not all. Oh no, that is not all. Look at me, look at me, look at me now. It is fun to have fun, but you have to know how. I can hold up a cup and the milk and the cake. I can hold up these books and the fish on a rake. I can hold a toy ship and a little toy man. And look with my tail, I can hold a red fan. I can fan with a fan as I hop on the ball. But that is not all. Oh no, that is not all. That is what the cat said. Then he fell on his head. He came down with a bump from up there on the ball. And Sally and I, we saw all the things fall. <laughs> look at the cat. He's falling from all the way up. And Sally and they're looking, watching everything. And our fish came down too. He fell into a pot. He said, do I like this? Oh no, I do not. This is not a good game, said our fish as he lit. No, I do not like it. Not one little bit. Now look what you did, said the fish to the cat. Now look at this house. Look at this! Look at that! You sank our toy ship, sank it deep in the cake. You shook up our house and you bent our new rake. You should not be here. When our mother is not, you get out of this house, said the fish in the pot. But I like to be here. Oh, I like it a lot, said the cat in the hat to the fish in the pot. I will not go away. I do not wish to go. And so, said the cat in the hat, so, 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 I will show you another good game that I know. Hmm. Can you guess what this game is going to be? I wonder. Let's find out. And then he ran out. And then fast as a fox, the cat in the hat came back in with a box. A big red wood box. It was shut with a hook. Now look at this trick, said the cat. Take a look. Then he got up on top with the tip of his hat. I call this game Fun in a Box, said the cat. In this box are two things I will show to you now. You will like these two things, said the cat with a bow. 
<laughs> Look at the cat bowing. He's taking a bow. Look at Sally and her brother <laughs> and the fish wondering what's going to happen next. I will pick up the hook. You will see something new. Two things, and I call them thing one and thing two. These things will not bite you. They want to have fun. Then, out of the box came thing two and thing one, and they ran to us fast. They said, how do you do? Would you like to shake hands with thing one and thing two? Wow, look at thing one and thing two. Huh? What do you think is going to happen next? And Sally and I did not know what to do. So we had to shake hands with thing one and thing two. We shook their two hands, but our fish said, No, no, those things should not be in this house. Make them go. They should not be here when your mother is not. Put them out, put them out, said the fish in the pot. Have no fear, little fish, said the cat in the hat. These things are good things. And he gave them a pet. They are tame, oh so tame, they have come here to play. They will give you some fun on this wet, wet, wet day. <laughs> now, here is a game that they like, said the cat. They like to fly kites, said the cat in the hat. No, not in the house, said the fish in the pot. They should not fly kites in the house, they should not. Oh, the things they will bump, oh, the things they will hit. Oh, I do not like it, not one little bit. Wow. Then Sally and I saw them run down the hall. We saw those two things bump their kites on the wall. Bump, thump, thump, bump, down the hall in the wall. Let's have a look. Can you see the kites all over the place, all over the blue wall and everything? Pumping everything in their path. Oh, thing one and thing two. They're having too much fun. They are naughty. Thing two and thing one, they ran up, they ran down. On the string of one kite, we saw mother's new gown. Her gown with the dots that are pink, white and red. Then we saw one kite bump on the top, on the head of her bed. There you go. Have a look. There's like, ah. Oh, Then those things ran about with big bumps, jumps and kicks and with hops and big thumps and all kinds of bad tricks. And I said, I do not like the way that they play. If mother could see this, oh, what would she say? Do you think they're making a mess? I think so too, friends. They're making a big mess, thing one and thing two. Then our fish said, look, look, and our fish shook with fear. Your mother is on her way home. Do you hear? Oh, what will she do to us? What will she say? Oh, she will not like it to find us this way. Can you see the mother's foot? Can you see the mother's foot? She's on her way. She's very, very close. Oh no, I wonder what's going to happen next. So do something fast, said the fish. Do you hear? I saw her. Your mother. Your mother is near. So as fast as you can, think of something to do. You will have to get rid of thing one and thing two. Oh. So as fast as I could, I went after my net. And I said, with my net, I can get them, I bet. I bet with my net, I can get those things yet. Look at him. He's getting ready. He's getting ready to catch thing one and thing two. Then I let down my net. It came down with a plop. And I had them. At last, those two things had to stop. Then I said to the cat, now you do as I say. You pack up those things and you take them away. Oh dear, said the cat. You did not like our game. Oh dear, what a shame, what a shame, what a shame. Then he shut up the things in the box with a hook and the cat went away with a sad kind of look. That is good, said the fish. He has gone away, yes, but your mother will come. She will find this big mess and this mess is so big and so deep and so tall. 
We cannot pick it up. There is no way at all. Look at this mess, friends. And then, who was back in the house? Why the cat? I have no fear of this mess, said the cat in the hat. I always pick up all my playthings, and so I will show you another good trick that I know. Then we saw him pick up all the things that were down. He picked up the cake, and the rake, and the gown, and the milk, and the strings, and the books, and the dish, and the fan, and the cup, and the ship, and the fish. And then he put them away. Then he said, that is that. And then he was gone, with the tip of his hat. Then our mother came in, and she said to us too, Did you have any fun? Tell me, what did you do? And Sally and I did not know what to say. Should we tell her the things that went on there that day? Should we tell her about it? Now, what should we do? Well, what would you do if your mother asked you? Yatemba ke mukeli bena unwabile namhlanje nazi nafunda lokukhulu kwi Quarren TV ichomi yakho ngelixa le lockdown iyawandimi uxabiso zweni like i say it's not over until the curtain falls <laughs>